Let's do it. Please consider what I have to say. And while our society appears to be prosperous, many of our young people are quietly suffering. They lack jobs, security, savings. The next generation will lead us into the future, and yet they have no plan for how to arrive there. Watch where you're going, you little shit. You bumped into me, you old goat. This isn't good. Yes, let's. Good citizens, please stop fighting! What is the point of bickering over such a trivial matter? This is none of your business! Yes, yeah, seriously, just shut up. What's with this guy? Now, if you'll please excuse me, I must return to my speech. Together, we can create a bright future for the next generation. Ah, God. So righteous. That really annoys me. Enough of your arrogance, no good, Tora! What? As if anyone would actually vote for you! Are you planning to embezzle funds again? Or maybe criticize one of your constituents again? You criminal! No, no that, that was all in the past. I've gone and done it again. Yes, but I cannot say that to the crowd before an election. Regardless, whenever someone calls me no good Torah, I panic. I went through quite an ordeal 20 years ago. Let me explain. I used to be a member of the National Diet. I was elected during the rise of the Kuramoto children. We were backed by powerful Diet members. This was about 20 years ago. I was very inexperienced back then, both as a politician as well as a human being. That inexperience led me to be involved in a series of major political scandals. People refer to my blunders as no good Torah's three strikes. The first was being caught missing a legislative meeting to take a personal vacation. Then. I was accused of embezzling a large sum of money from the party, giving me two strikes. Finally, I called a voter an idiot at an open forum, which resulted in scandal and strike three. I was out and branded a washed up politician. You said you wanted to become a member of the Diet, but do you see the man before you? Do you really want to receive my guidance? I'm happy to hear that. However, everyone says I have no chance to get elected. So why come to me? <laughs> You're doing a good job of cheering me up. But you may be right. The most important part about giving a good speech is believing in yourself. Perhaps one day, 
I will believe in myself again. But you sure got me there. You're a strange young man. Very well. If learning how to give a great speech is what you seek, then I'd be happy to instruct you. In exchange, I would like for you to continue assisting me. Let's get started, shall we? Staging your crimes with calling cards. It's hard to believe that a student could manage this alone. An adult. For example, someone talented enough to move people with words. Perhaps they coached you. Isn't that right? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Sun Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Let's pursue your dream of becoming a member of the Diet. Oh my, we've been talking for far too long. Let's call it quits for today. You. Well then, I shall see you again soon. Seems pretty rough. Well, shall we begin? Ooh, we can do this! Let's get started. Ooh, we can do this! Okay, class, let's get started. Ooh, we can do this!
Ever since that specific incident, many of you have voiced concerns that I could not bear to ignore. We believe the mental health of our student body is absolutely vital, so we've acquired the services of a therapist. The floor is yours, Doctor. Isn't he hot? <clears throat> it's nice to meet you all. Whoa, his voice is sexy. My name is... Huh? My name is Takato Maruki. Thank you for welcoming me to your school. No need to be formal with me, though. I'm just here to counsel anyone who's interested. You can even call me Doc, if that would help you feel more comfortable. Any assistance you need, I'll be... Oh. I guess I'm not really any good for helping with money problems. <laughs> Yo, you ever expect this place to actually give a shit about our mental health? Well, our school's made national news. Maybe they figured they'd look even worse if they didn't do anything for us. And Dr. uh, Dr. what's his name? Maruki. Yeah, wasn't that guy just basically clowning it up on stage? You really think he'll do us any good? Ryuji. Hey there. Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san, right? And that must make you... How do you know our names? Well, I was informed of certain students before beginning my tenure here. Those that had, uh, previous interactions with Mr. Kamoshida. It must have been especially tough for you after having just transferred here. Quite the tough youngster. Just don't overdo it, okay? So, what do you want with us? Ah, oh, yes, I'd forgotten. I know I already offered my services to the student body earlier, but would you three be interested in counseling? Nope, not at all. Huh? How's that surprising? You were just a touch more emphatic about it than I'd expected. Ah, but if you come to my office, you can have free snacks. All you can eat would be nice, but there's still plenty to be had. So, how about it? Hey, don't fall for that. To be frank, I've been explicitly ordered to provide counseling to the students directly involved with Mr. Kamoshida. It's in the school's interest for its students. Ah, the school's interest, huh? I know that asking you to be open with a complete stranger like myself is a lot. Making this mandatory wouldn't do you any good either. Might as well turn it into a worthwhile experience. Ooh, I know. If you attend my counseling sessions, I'll teach you different ways to improve your mental acuity. Like ways to hone your concentration before exams, or not getting nervous on dates. How's that sound? Uh... There's also snacks. All right, all right, enough with the snacks. So, which way are you leaning? <sighs> I guess it'd just be more trouble for us if we didn't go. Hmm, yeah. Really? Then, I guess it's a deal. I'll be in the nurse's office. Feel free to come by whenever it's convenient for you. Well, we should get going. Okay, I'll see you later. Thanks for taking my counseling into consideration. Now that we have a deal, I promise I'll do my best to help you.
It's hard to believe an ordinary high school student could accomplish such grandiose heists. One would need a heart of steel, unaffected by outside influences, and prepared to act without hesitating. There has to be someone who helped strengthen your mental state. Sound like somebody you know? Give me a name! I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Counselor Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. So hold up, dude. Sorry for keeping you like this. Well then. Okay, quiet down. Yes. <sighs> Welcome. Again? Yes. Hmm. Wait. Yeah. Be careful, okay? Okay, I'm gonna get going. Uh, 
Huh? <laughs> All right then. Welcome. For example... Hmm... <laughs> I'm sorry... Uh. Say... You know, I... How about it? Uh, uh, sorry. Thank you. All right. I know. Now. All right. Well, see you. Man. Good night. So sleepy. <sighs> I ended up pulling an all-nighter once I realized today's the last day of exams. You staying up studying? Nah, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. Bull, you, you say that, but you probably just spent the whole night studying. Uh, a morning. Yo, look who else is yawning. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. Oh, impressive, Lady On. You're quite different from this stupid monkey I know. Huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. What was that? <sighs> Will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. Am I imagining things? What? You see a groper or something? No, that's not it. It's... nothing. Hmm?
my god, that guy got off. Isn't this bad? <laughs> hey, at least act like you care. <sighs> Fine. Come on. Hey, uh, are you sure it's him, or are you just that self-conscious? I'm not that- Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line! You are the one stalking me! Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me, ever since the train! That's because... <laughs> my goodness! I had wondered why you left the car, so this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. <laughs> I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness I caught up to you. Okay... What? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? W wait a minute, I... Be the model for my next art piece. M model? All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious! Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? Whoa, hold your horses! Who are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I'm Madarame Sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Madarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? The very same. You know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese-style artist who's been recognized all over the world. Uh, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Yusuke! I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Madarame? Matarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. <laughs> that guy's as easy to read as a book. You're not planning on going, are you? I think I will. Crap, look at the time. I'll see you later. How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. You became acquainted with Madarame's pupil by chance? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Madarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. But he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? This metaverse business again? <sighs> Fine. 
Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. Were you related to those as well? Hmm, I see. <laughs> Fine. Let's get back to Matarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. It's over. How about you? You traitor! Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less, too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know! Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi, then! Or domestic-raised eel. We don't have that much left. Oh, right! There are those tickets to Matarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? It's not like that. Oh, of course not. When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Matarame, was it? What should I do about the other two tickets? Wanna go appreciate some fine arts for once? <laughs> fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. Well, if everyone's going... It's settled then. going to an art exhibit sounds kind of mature. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Okay. Let me explain.
So crowded. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? You came. Um, yeah. You really came. What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. Will Lady Han be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? I told you not to come out! Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say? What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame-san is actually here? Over there! I'm so glad I came on opening day! Okay, <laughs> stop pushing! Ah, there's way too many people! I'm getting crushed! Anyways, we gotta head for the exit! Don't die on us, alright? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. He's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei! Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. Indeed. Oh, this is it. The painting I wanted to see in person. This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this... strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <clears throat> Something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than... this one. Come now, this way. H hey old lady totally elbowed me. But thanks to that, I remember now. 
Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Eh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, hmm? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? There's this much overlap. Ain't it pretty much settled? If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitago Akun gave me his contact info and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden. What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Well then. Yes! All right.
Okay, let's get started. So... Any ideas? This is it. That's right! And thieves going by train. <laughs> this ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet! We didn't pay the pet fare. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. Oh, kitty! Uh, shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. Yeah, it's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. You heard her. Press on its head. This is ridiculous. Meow. Wowie! Again, again! <laughs> Dude, the cat's drooling. The next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya, doors will open on the left side. Oh, this is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. So, which line do we got to transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. What? And we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? Stop your complaining. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist, looks like the fastest route is to get to the station square and then go to Central Street. Let's move. Shida, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. 
Just in case. Is that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Who is it? Sensei is currently... Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. Takamaki, sir. You two are here as well? Hey, sorry, but, uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? We read about it online. This? <laughs> <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? He welcomes pupils into his own home! This is no act of violence, it is charity! And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... that is utter rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! You really think that? Yusuke, what's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh, hey, the app. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Matarame has a palace, too, right? But why? Matarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Matarame mistakes the Shaq for to enter his palace. You mean, like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, what a pain! 
jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. No candidates found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? Beginning navigation. Beginning navigation? Whoa, really? Hey, when did you activate the nav? You surprised me. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed, and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Probably would have figured it out once he started walking on two legs. So even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yes. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Forget that! Look! That shack is seriously some kind of museum? Let's go check it out. It's so extravagant. To the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Madarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality, too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse, either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for Phantom Thieves? Now that's our Joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Yes! <sighs> Shall we go? Let's do it.